All right, cool. Well, hey, welcome everybody. Today's uh, March 2nd, another IPFS implementer sync working group. Um, thank, thanks for joining. Put the link in the Zoom chat as to where the meeting notes are. And yeah, we have a small group at the moment. We'll see if others show up. This might be a quick meeting. Um, but anyway, well, with that, we'll we'll start rolling in. Um, yeah, so at the top of the agenda, in terms of action items for last week, the only thing that hasn't gotten um, acted on is someone looking at the Unix FS spec. Uh, that has definitely stalled. No one has committed to doing it. Everyone has been has been busy or pulled into other things. And I don't think anyone in this group, the current audience is going to be able to raise their hand to commit to giving that another look over. So I think that one is going to languish and carry on. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll pause. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll say on that. In terms of releases and stuff that I'm aware of, uh, yeah, so Kubo is doing a 019 release. Uh, link, you know, the meeting notes have the link to the issue with kind of what's in scope. We're still actually writing out the change log. That is already about a week late. We should have this RC coming out tomorrow or on Monday is what where things are currently looking. And then on the Hilia, which is the JS um, implementation, sorry, the IPFS implementation written in JavaScript that uh, the PL Andres groups has been uh, spearheading. You know, they, we had another demo um, week or two ago. Like, so things are progressing. Unfortunately, it hasn't been uploaded to YouTube yet. I just checked and I'm working with marketing as to why that has been the case and how to make it more self-service. But I, I added a link to the playlist where it will get uploaded. Um, and we've got another demo coming up in a couple of weeks on the 13th. Uh, that's also organized in Luma like this meeting. So please feel free to follow or sign up there if you're interested. Um, like that, the Helia project as a whole is pretty um, like, I mean, Alex Pudsitty's aching brain who's been working on it, like doing doing great work, but it's also largely one person. Uh, and so some of the communication project management sides of that project are certainly in need of help. Um, so it's like I completely accept that it's not the most it's not the most clear for someone coming in to be able to see what all has gotten done and how they can best contribute. And that is on you know, Alex and my list to in, improve. But if if you are, uh, you, yeah, if, if that is something you're wanting to help with in any way or, or have specific questions on, um, feel free to ask in this meeting or afterwards in Slack. Um, and we definitely want to, we do want to facilitate other people being involved, but I know it doesn't on the surface look the most hospitable at the moment. So that's what I'll say there. Um, yeah, anything you want to say Ria wise, Lytle? Thanks for adding a couple notes here. Um, yeah, so maybe I, I will do a very quick screen share. Um, yeah, go for it. Thank you. One second. All right. All right, so this is will, will be very uh, very fa uh, fast and quick. So we we are still we've extracted a gateway code from uh, Kubo. It's a, into a Go library, and uh, we have some examples. But now we are working on the project Ria, which is uh, using that library um, to be to replace Kubo as uh, IPFS backend on IPFS IO and the dweb.link. And what that means is uh, all the HTTP requests that go to IPFS IO could be uh, a like website hosting, could be requests for block, car, different like, like JSON types and so on and so forth, including like subdomain uh, gateways. All those things go into our Bifrost infra. And here it was Kubo, but now we are using for uh, a, a fraction of traffic, uh, mirrored traffic, we're using this new binary. And I think it's uh, good enough uh, that we could uh, uh, just mention it, it, the, it's work in progress. Uh, this binary does not run libp2p. Instead, it takes care of all the gateway things that the gateways do. Uh, and it's instead in the in the background, it is fetching blocks. Right now, it's just block by block from uh, some other gateway. Uh, in our infrastructure, we'll be using Saturn, uh, but uh, you now using this uh, this binary against your own uh, backend. So there is um, the uh, the thing I've added to agenda is a link to some documentation. Uh, so if you are a Saturn user, you can set 
will be using Saturn as a backend. Um, however, if you already have a gateway or, may, or maybe you have an IPFS cluster, but you don't want to run expensive uh, Kubo in front of it as a, as a gateway, now you have a very small binary. Uh, there's Docker image here. We don't have a, a stable latest, but you can always grab the latest uh, commit from main. Uh, it's uh, We keep it fairly stable. That's what we are running on our experimental infra. So you can run this Docker image, uh, set uh, either Saturn environment variables, or if you have your own uh, if you have your own uh, block store that supports uh, trustless variable retrieval, which we added last year, uh, exactly the same request for slash IPFS CID, give me a block. This is the only thing that you need to implement. So you could write your own backend, set the URL of that backend, and then this binary will provide a gateway uh, backed by that uh, backend. So this is a, a way of decomposing uh, gateways instead of people having to run uh, multiple Kubo nodes and having to figure out load balancing. They can now have uh, this uh, web hosting uh, focused uh, service and then have it backed by some sort of a CDN. You can put load balancer in front of it. You can put load balancer after that. So it gives a uh, way more flexibility than Kubo because in Kubo you got all uh, you got uh, both data retrieval and gateway in a single binary. This allows people to decompose. So it's a very early thing, but uh, we've added this proxy gateway URL um, option. Um, so if you don't use Saturn, you can use this, and you can also run uh, Kubo or IPFS cluster. Um, that way. Um, so this is like a quick announcement. I've put a link there. Uh, hopefully it's useful for some folks who've been uh, complaining or and, and, and for a good reason that uh, Kubo may be too expensive to run as a gateway or you wanted more flexibility around scaling. So I think that's the, that's the update from Ria um, from me. Th th thanks a lot, Lytle. That's great. And I I think we'll have more to share on this as well. I think we've hinted at it before, but Lytle, related to this effort, but Lytle, Robin, and some other folks on the PL Andres team are working on some gateway conformance testing so that regardless of who's creating the uh, a gateway, that we can uh, see, we can objectively look at someone's spec uh, conformance. Um, and so like that, that is an active effort that we are going on to validate, that we'll be using to help validate this current gateway and hopefully any other gateways that people create, because there is a mm -hmm. lot of nuance in the uh, in properly implementing the spec. Yeah, yeah, totally. And uh, and that also will be kind of like turnkey solution. Uh, I talked with uh, Piotr and uh, Laurent uh, about uh, and kind of like end user slash developer experience. We want something that you can run against your own gateway, run it on the CI. Um, single binary or the docker image so it will you don't need to like worry about any direct dependencies and things like that so but for now uh, the only the only tests are comprehensive tests we have in kubo so we are using that and um, hopefully we will get uh, to the point when we can replace kubo tests with more comprehensive uh, uh, implementation agnostic one but that's like work in progress Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, next thing I had on the agenda was you know, some more conversation or like give uh, particularly Brendan a chance to talk more about IRO's change in direction. I think most people in this audience probably saw Number Zero's blog. Um, you know, they did. I, I think some of that blog, there was some messaging that was maybe misinterpreted or misunderstood. And so I think they did some updating on their messaging afterwards. And they also put a, together a nice accompanying doc here around IRO for IPFS veterans. Um, but I don't, we don't, we'll see if Brendan is able to, to show up um, in case there were specific questions that people in this audience wanted to um, ask or any co extra color that Brendan had. But if we don't have him here, we will punt that one to the next, uh, to, to the next go around. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll skip that. Um, is there anything IP IP wise that you want to surface Lytle or that you think is imminent and people trying to get merged or implemented and other people are feeling blocked? 
Uh, we have you muted, Lytle. Sorry. Thanks for sharing your screen, though. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I'd say like the, the thing that's ready for reviews and more or less uh, uh, is uh, is IPNS responses that's scheduled to ship uh, with Kubo 19. Uh, we keep it open because we want to register MIME type uh, at IANA um, and update, uh, like reference that uh, and then merge it. Uh, we already have a codec registered, so it's kind of like just editorial things. Uh, and I, I, I don't, I don't believe we have anything else. There, there are things, um, there are things in uh, in the pipeline, maybe like not here, which we also need to triage. There are some proposals from uh, Indexer folks to support uh, um, delegated IPNS resolution, and there's another one for. Um, uh, uh, putting uh, records uh, to indexer directly. Uh, but uh, I had no time to circle back to them uh, since the last time I reviewed them. So I did not uh, put them on the board yet. But if anyone is interested or has time to review, uh, they are in IPFS uh, specs repo. Yeah, thank you. thanks, Lado. I'll just quickly share here for, for a sec too. Um, so things that I, I'm aware of, at least on the Endra side, that are really getting pushed on. Um, yeah, I don't think this. Yeah, it is definitely there is thought around um, streaming streaming cars, right? And that that would ultimately and adding a graph API, getting that that sorry, adding a graph API to the gateway is something that is actively being worked on and thought through. That will make its way to an IPIP here soon, and there is going to be engineering resources behind that. You know, of prototyping and implementing that. So that that one should be showing up quickly. I don't know if we, I know the folks on the indexer side have been working on double hashing within uh, within the indexer. I don't, uh, I, mean, I guess Hugo this morning or earlier today said he had been looking at it. I don't know if that's actually, I don't know if that's in the IPNI specs repo or here, but that's that's one that's like actively got engineering effort behind is maybe worth flagging. Are you have you seen that one, Lytle? Uh yes, yes. I've it's in the IPNI specs here, though. I think the the reader privacy for IPNI is in their own specs here, Got it. But the ultimate like this is um yeah, okay. There's because ultimately they will want that that's interesting because we want to make some change. Like this is basically about adding um double hashing to the http delegated routing uh api right like that's that's ultimately yeah. where they need to get to yeah the thing is like it's in their own repo it's not like ipip it's they have their own specs repo uh so it's not part of uh of this process okay but this is at some point i get i I'm, i guess i'm okay to follow up on like do we agree that this should be getting some visibility. We should be getting some visibility over here because ultimately we should have an IPIP that is changing the IPFS specs repo because we're talking about expanding the uh, the HTTP delegated routing. Yeah, uh, yeah, a API, right? Okay, um, fine. So I, I guess I'll put that down on the as an action to follow up there so that because I, I get on. Things that are completely isolated, IP and I, that's fine if they want to have their own specs repo, but the things that are like things that are already under IPFS specs, like HTTP delegated routing, I feel like should be getting talked about uh, under the IPFS specs repo. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, like, I've added to uh, like neat triage uh, column. Um, there is double hash uh, DHT spec. Mm -hmm. um, I've put it like at, at, at the top. Uh, but I'm not sure what to do with IPNI because all the IPNI specs are not like it's just a there's a project called IPNI and they wrote their own specs. Uh, they they contribute those delegated routing IPs. The last two mm -hmm. on this like need to triage column yeah. are are from that team. Uh, so my understanding is that when uh, Sure, like we 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 need, we want to make sure the double hash DHT spec and the whatever IPNI are doing are not 
technically mm. incompatible yeah uh, but uh, those are like kind of like separate distinct um use cases uh, the double hash dht spec and the delegated content routing uh, apis are what actually will be used by ipfs nodes mm -hmm. the ipni specs are kind of like implementation details of a specific project yeah. i did not see uh it being having like more than one implementation so it's it's difficult to tell if it's like a, part, a protocol or just a description of a single system okay got it. that that makes sense but just uh just to be clear you do agree that we should have an ipip IP about the changes that want to be that they'll want to eventually to make to HTTP delegated routing API to support double hashing against uh, IPNI. Yeah, yeah, we we initially had that in the very first one, and it's mm -hmm. <laughs> it tells something. About, I, I believe it was like three three seven. <laughs> yeah, good old three three seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, we essentially like uh, trimmed down that one yeah. and removed things like privacy preserving uh, uh, content routing uh, lookups. Also, like we removed puts, we removed pagination. Um, all those things will be coming back as separate IPIPs. So I think just like we have two uh, here, we'll have additional one about uh, double hashed delegated routing, I guess. Okay. But that would be the interface. That, that will be the delta against IPFS specs, I think, because like IPNI is not, is not part of IPFS specs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Make, make sense. Very good. And uh, yeah, I think I think it's also fair to say that the double hashing DHT spec is in progress. Given implementation work has already you know got started, a lot of implementation work got started by Chain uh, Safe. I believe it's going to get finished off by PL Andres. Um, but there is like people are actively working to try to uh, land that one. Obviously, that's this is a the rollout, and there's there's a lot of considerations. So this isn't a quick one to to land, but it is. I think I think it's fair to say this is in progress. Yes, I think all of them, other than, yeah, also like the the IPNI ones, uh, can be moved. But yeah, okay, okay, yeah, is all right, fair. Okay, great. Um, thanks. Did anyone else have any comments about any of the specs or PIPs? I know Enrique has been looking into uh, taking uh, Robin's. Uh, presentation layer that does uh, uh, reference tracking and um, the thing that was uh, presented a few weeks mm -hmm. uh, a few calls ago um he, he took it for a spin for uh, trustless uh, gateway specs uh, and it looks pretty decent so we are thinking about uh fleshing out like mature directory within IPFS specs repo and slowly but surely moving specs that are at the certain like maturity level, um, slowly converting them into this new presentation format, and then having them appear on this new website. Uh, that's just something that uh, Enrique has been looking this week, and we will probably have uh, asynchronous discussion about that. But uh, just flagging that there's work in progress to have specs IPFS dot tech uh, have a gateway specs. Uh, on that website uh, sooner than later. Um, it, I think it would be a good idea if we could like coordinate async. Um, yeah. Because like there's, there's some of that, I mean, some of that was just meant as a demo. So uh, <clears throat> if people are starting to rely on it, I'd like to clean it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, totally. So I, I kind of asked him like, take it for a spin and identify like paper cuts. So, you know, the usual paper cuts like, if you want stable links, we need to figure out uh, either convention around file names or some additional layer. Uh, but yeah, so so that's uh, that was a good exercise to identify the gaps. Yeah. So is the like does it make sense for if so if Henrik is wanting to drive this a little bit? Is this like having a thread in IPFS implementers with um, with Robin? Like is that is that probably the, is that the kind of the channel that we should be discussing this in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of like uh, it's long running the kind of like work pipeline that Enrique can be pushing when he he's waiting for my reviews and all this stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah. 
Okay, very, very good. Um, thanks. So I think that anyone have anything else spec related they want to bring up? Okay, um, well, it's now beginning of March, uh, IPFS thing, which is really intended for a lot of this audience of the IPFS implementer community, that's scheduled for April 15th to the 19th. So we're basically like six weeks out, which um, like good, like positive on the note that we'll get to see a lot of people here pretty soon. Um, I know it, it has probably some people a bit, just because people have been heads down on other projects, um, you know, it's like that's it's gonna sneak up on us fast. Um, I, I know some of us are feeling that. Uh, I guess I just wanted to see if there was any, I, I personally haven't been close to the IPFS thing planning. I think maybe some people on this call maybe have been more so. Uh, I just wanna see if there's any announcements or call outs that anyone wanted to make. I know there's, I'm pretty sure that people, there are track leads getting nominated. People are starting to try to figure out their track. Um, anyway, if there's anything IPFS thing related that you wanted to surface or ask about, like here's the here's the space for it. I would say, please submit talks uh, you know, now <laughs> or last week. Um, <laughs> it really helps. It really helps on the on the tracks lead side to be able to like figure out, you know, how many talks we're getting, how to size things, et cetera, et cetera. So the, the sooner you can submit, even if it's not perfect, it doesn't have, you know, don't don't go crazy writing and rewriting it. But please submit sooner rather than later. Or even entire trucks, if someone wants to have the truck for something, um, that's a good time to do it. Yeah, and I think most people are aware here, but there isn't like, I mean, obviously there is a organizing community, but there, uh, this is really intended for, if they, this is, the organizing community is really intending to create space so that those who want to take initiative can do so, right? So don't be waiting on others to ask for permission or like to, to come to you. if. if it's more about driving it and that that group of organizers will help facilitate and use the space and time available to accommodate you best as possible. So um, yeah, definitely call the arms here to take take action, take initiative. Um, please don't wait for others to um, come to you if there's something that you are wanting to uh, to drive or see happen. Uh, okay, any anything else on IPFS thing? Okay, well, that's the end of the formal agenda. Um, did anyone have anything else they wanted to add to the agenda? Any other announcements or updates that anyone wanted to share? Not not expected or required, but we're here if anyone wants to share anything. Okay. Well, uh, thanks. I'll, I'll end. Uh, I'll end the recording here now. But thanks all for joining, and we'll be back again in a couple of weeks.